Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going on a little field trip. Yes, I'm taking you guys with me to Vancouver Laser and Skin Center to get my IPL. Now, if you're wondering why the heck am I getting IPL, if you've been following me on Instagram, you already know why. And if you're not, then I don't understand why you're not. <laughs> you just go follow me at Moose by Goli. I've been opening up to you guys about the fact that I, in the past year, have been dealing with a skin issue, which is rosacea. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it flared up in the last year. Before, I used to have a little tiny bit of pinkness on my face, nothing that was crazy. But in this past year, I don't know what happened, but it, it flared up like crazy. And I'm one to not have to wear like foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm pretty confident about my skin, no significant issues at all. But this past year, I've been forced to ha like wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, which is something that I really don't like, and it really sucks. So I've been on a hunt to find a clinic that's going to help me get rid or decrease the issue. Now, I have been told that rosacea is something that is not curable. The only thing that you can do is maintain it or decrease it. Um, it's not something that will completely go away unless you, I mean, again, it's still not going to completely go away. Even if you change your dietary habits, even if you change your lifestyle, it's still going to be there, but certain things trigger it more. So I've already had two IPL sessions. First one, just a little disclaimer, just because I want to be as transparent as possible so that you guys know what you're walking into. My first session, I went in there not knowing what's going to happen. I didn't take any sort of painkillers or anything because I also didn't know what it's going to be like. So the pain level is going to be different for different types of people. IPL is usually used for people who have rosacea, which is me, or people who want to treat uh, and get rid of dark spots. People who are using it for dark spots are not going to have as much pain almost close to no pain but apparently people who have rosacea you're gonna feel a little bit more of a pain now it is totally tolerable it's nothing that you can't handle um, the first session like I said I didn't take any sort of pain meds and to be honest with you I was a little bit uncomfortable and I guess the nerves also got to me but the second time my technician said that you should take one or two extra strength Tylenols and I only took one and it was absolutely manageable. Um, I think for the next time I'm still going to go take two just so that it could be extra comfortable but even one will do so that should kind of give you a scale if you have sensitive skin or your pain tolerance is not that high then there's something for it. They also have laughing gas which is you know i've never tried it i do want to kind of try it but that's also an option that's going to make you even feel more comfortable also the pain doesn't last it feels like an elastic band snapping on your face but the pain is right then and there and then it goes away it doesn't linger so that's a really good part it's just like a two second pain that just feels like nothing after so that's i think all i could say about the pain that you should be expecting now the second part that I want to get into is the second treatment that I get right after IPL. Um, Vancouver Laser and Skin is the only place I think that has this post care treatment which is supposed to make you see the results of the treatment pretty much instantly. After the laser that you do, your skin is going to be inflamed. Obviously there's a lot of heat that just entered your skin. So obviously you're going to be a little bit inflamed. You're going to be, your skin's going to be irritated. So this treatment is designed to calm your skin, give it the nutrients that it needs, give it the vitamins, serums, and hydration. And in turn, it's going to make you see the result right away of what the IPL did to you. So. After I walk out my IPL, usually I have a pretty red inflamed face. I go right after into the post care and it's a 45 minute treatment, which is a super luxurious, calming, relaxing, really lovely treatment actually. I, I always look forward to that. It's the gift to myself after enduring a little bit of pain with the IPL. I always look really forward to that. Just because you get really pampered, you're just laying there for 45 minutes. They put these UV lights on your face. They are just layering and layering all these serums, nutrients, hydration, everything that your skin needs after going through all this heat and zapping right but other than that um, i think i covered everything if you have any questions that come up feel free to message me either here or reach out to me on instagram at moods by goalie and either i'll answer them or if i don't have the answers then i will reach out to my technician to get some information 
think I covered everything. Let's get into the video and I will zip it. Let's go. <laughs> coming along and seeing how the post care and IPL work if you do have any questions again please don't hesitate to reach out to me on here or on Instagram other than that if you did enjoy watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time <laughs>